Hello guys and welcome to my 2024 New Year's candle collection. What a wonderful So I am updating my candle collection with you guys today. It turns out I haven't updated since uh, the fall of last year. So it's been quite some time and I have some good numbers to share with you guys. I also wrote down my numbers from earlier in 2023 so I can compare, but I think we're doing really good on my candle collection. I broke it up by seasons and I'm just excited to show you guys what I've got in my collection. Here we are with the candle collection and of course Bubba had to join us. He is sick today, so I'm sorry if he makes any random noises, but he's not doing too hot, so send him some love. But anyways, here is my collection. I've got all my winter candles that are left right up top. I've got my three single wicks. I've got this little section of fall one row of summer, one row of spring, and then one row of kind of just year round white barn or body care candles. They're not really specific to any season. And to refer to my numbers, right now I have 31 candles. And in the fall of last year, I had 33. In the summer of last year, I had 38. And in January of 2023, I had 40. So we are down nine after a whole year which obviously included buying and using up candles so of course my collection fluctuated with however many i bought and however many i used or discarded got rid of i did donate a quite a few candles i think in my last video to ryan's mom and to some girlfriends so yeah i did do a little bit of a declutter earlier in the year but Let's go ahead and get started on my collection. So we'll start up top with the Christmas candles and I only have three left. Well, four if you consider this single wick and twisted peppermint. I only have four Christmas candles left from this past holiday season, which I am super proud of myself for. And actually I didn't buy any of these three this year at all. These are all from uh, 2022. So we're doing really good on that. I have peppermint hot chocolate. I have two from Goose Creek, one in Gingerbread Donut, and one in Chocolate Drizzled Popcorn. Honestly, this one is not really a Christmas scent. It just kind of smells like buttered popcorn. So nothing special, a little bit of chocolate in there. So I might actually move this to my like spring use it up collection, um, just so I know that I should probably use this. And my three single wicks, I've got Twisted Peppermint, which is pretty close to being finished, and I definitely plan on finishing it soon. We've got Cozy Linen and Sugared Snickerdoodle, which this one actually is also a Christmas candle. So I guess that makes five, but this one, honestly, to me, I can burn a cookie candle all year round, so it's not exclusively winter, but it is a winter candle. So moving on to fall, I do have eight candles. I have three from other brands and then these five from Bath & Body Works. So the first one, actually my only candle that I have left from Homeworks is Hot Cider Donut. This is one of my absolute favorites. I had two of these last year, I think. I bought them in bulk from their website and I just, I love this scent so much. It is Harvest Apple, Cinnamon Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. It's just a wonderful cinnamon sugar donut. It's so good. So I'll probably purchase another one of these next year, but I haven't really been purchasing Homeworks at all lately because they're a little overpriced for the quality, I think. Some of them are really great, like this one, and then some of them are just disappointing and they're not worth like 30 bucks or more. Um, so I'd rather just get them at like Home Goods or Marshalls if I find them just here and there. I'm not really gonna order on their website anymore unless there's something like super exclusive or fun or whatever coming out. And then I've got these two from Goose Creek. I've got Hocus Pocus 2, which is super fun. This is also from 2022. And this one is actually just a candy corn scent. So it's like marshmallows and vanilla sponge sugar. And then I've got this cherry cobbler scent, which it is a fall scent, but I could definitely use it year round and I probably should finish it up because it is nearing two years old and it's not my favorite. 
So again, with Goose Creek, I'm also not having a lot of luck with their candles. Granted, they always have great sales and they're at a great price. So sometimes I find a Goose Creek candle that I love and then most of the time, like the other 60 or 75%, I don't like them, so. Okay, and then I've got my five from Bath & Body Works. We've got White Pumpkin, Harvest Gathering, Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, which is my last one and I'm so sad to have to burn it next year, but it's so yummy. I've got pumpkin pecan waffles and champagne apple and honey. And then right here, I've got my five summer candles. I know a lot of people don't really burn candles in summer, but I love a good summer candle, especially these two coconutty ones. So I've got black teakwood right here, which actually does this even have, no, it doesn't have coconut. This one actually doesn't have a uh, coconut in it. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking of mahogany coconut which i definitely want to purchase a mahogany coconut soon i mean not soon i'm actually on like a little bit of a candle no buy until i finish up a couple more but anyways and then we've got santorini coast from last year this one was so yummy that i had to buy a backup i have not burned this yet it's creamy coconut almond blossom and warm vanilla so this one is so so yummy and like perfect when it's super hot outside it's just like a vanilla coconut and then i've got sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar buttery popcorn and a red, white, and blue cake. And then I've got these six spring candles. Honestly, these six could be burned any time of year, but I'm just classifying them as spring for my own organization. So this one is Feel Loved Champagne Cupcake. I'm currently burning this right now on my nightstand and I'm loving it. It's so yummy. I'm about halfway through on the candle. The notes are fluffy caked, whipped vanilla frosting, and pink sprinkles. I just love this lid, even though it's like not practical at all, but I really love the lid and it smells really nice and sweet. So loving this one. I've got pistachio and toasted vanilla, which also came out in the winter time, but this is definitely a spring scent for me. It's so yummy. I've got blueberry marshmallow bar, which I'm really excited to burn. I have not yet tried it, so I'm really excited about that one. I've got wild berry and ube, which I'm actually really enjoying in my office. This is fresh wild berries, purple ube, and creamy vanilla. I would say it definitely does not have a lot of ube to it though. If anything, it is mostly a just berry vanilla scent with like a slight ube like afterthought, which is nice. It's still good because I love a good fruity scent, but yeah. And then I've got these two guys that came out for candle day. This one is caramel frappuccino, which to me is most definitely white caramel cold brew. And then brioche french toast which to me smells almost exactly like pumpkin pecan waffles there's like a little bit of a difference there but they're very similar and they give me the same vibe and the same feeling like sugary sweet maple syrup and then i've got my three body care candles and these three white barn core candles so i've got saltwater breeze which i picked up at this year's um candle day i burned this i think once and i actually loved the scent i didn't realize that I had it on or I forgot that I had it on and it was wafting into the kitchen. And I was like, what is this wonderful scent? And it was saltwater breeze. So that was really surprising and kind of a good surprise there. And then I got into the night and in the stars. These are most certainly nightstand table candles, like perfect to just put in your, um, either your bedroom or your bathroom and have like a really vibey night. Oh, I love these. And then I've got these three in the White Barn Core Collection, Paris Cafe, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, which this is, yes, the fall packaging, but to me, this is a year-round scent for sure. And then Strawberry Pound Cake, which is one of my absolute favorites. Okay, so that is the full overview of my candle collection for January of 2024. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little candle collection video. I'm feeling really great about my candle collection and where it's at right now. The size of it is perfect to me. I think it's because I really got through a lot of Christmas candles and I didn't purchase a ton of Christmas candles when I shopped for um, Candle Day. I purchased kind of year round candles, which I think really set me up for success. So anyways, that's it for today's video. Let me know down below, how is your candle collection going right now? Are you happy with it? Do you want it to be bigger? Do you want it to be smaller? Let me know and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.